What's up everybody and welcome to today's video in which we will cover a Cooler Master controller that was released I think approximately 8 to 9 months ago but regardless of that we have a Cradle, we have a controller and we have this cool uh, yeah, Cooler Master accessory, it's called Gem, I think you've already seen it a couple of billion times on their social media and from other uh, reviewers and influencers uh, across the globe but regardless of that it's a cool, really cool and handy thing I do have to admit now let's jump into the main part what we're going to cover today because we have a Cooler Master Storm controller, we have a Cooler Master Storm Cradle and of course we have the Cooler Master accessory called Gem. Now I'm going to jump quickly into these two accessories because it's going to be a shorter overview, let's put it this way. And then we're going to jump into the controller to see what you can expect when we're talking about that. So the cradle, first of all, it's just regular plastic. There's nothing specifically to expect except having, of course, a Cooler Master logo. Opening here for your cable for your Type-C. You have loads of rubber parts except for the bottom part right here. You have rubber part holding here, which is... All right. And you have this extension to place your phone at the top. Of course, it has some rubber pads on bottom and top, just in case so it doesn't damage your phone, which would be a disaster completely. Uh, some plastic destroying your phone that you paid like, I don't know, I'll just say 500 to 2000 euros and yeah, there's that. But regardless of that, I think this should be definitely packed inside this box and not in this one. Uh, but whatever it's uh, all up to them to decide how they're gonna do it uh, in those terms it's quite possibly to uh, possible to adjust the angle for the controller the angle for the phone and of course the height and i think this is i think you can place 15 pro max uh, without any uh, problems and even wider so yeah uh, that's it. That's all that I can say. But you'll see it during the video when I use the controller with my phone uh, and uh, stuff like that. Now the gem. The gem is something really cool and I'll check, check this out. So it has a possibility to magnetically attach to a case, right? And it has a really strong magnet. And when I say strong, now, sorry for the microphone, but listen to this. This is really strong. And Funny thing, I haven't seen a flexible magnet whatsoever. So this is a possibility and I do have to say, be very careful if you decide to place them, place the temp tempered glass in between. Uh, I don't think it will break, but you see what I'm talking about. Just in case so it doesn't break it. And we have something cool, of course. You have three canals here to reroute the cable if you're going to place your headset over here. And you have a possibility to dangle up or tie up the cable around it, which is quite cool. I mean, since we're talking about Cooler Master, it would be really cool if the logo here was purple. But this way we have something unificial going with gray and black and, well, the Cooler Master Stone controller fits perfectly. So uh, there's that. I think this is a really cool gadget and I think most of you guys will definitely uh, love this. Storm controller, right? It's wireless. It uh, costs around $40. 40 hours of battery life, uh, purple all, all around, except, well, varieties of colors, but we'll get to that part later on. It has plastic all around, so there's nothing to miss over here. And even though it looks like it's uh, something grippy over here, I don't think there is, there's just a texture giving you some idea of a grip, but it actually does kind of create a grippy feel, let's put it this way, nothing spectacular and uh, nothing that, not, it's not rubberized, let's be clear about that. Uh, before we jump into more details here, we have quite long USB Type-C, yep, yeah, USB Type-C cable to USB Type-A, no covers for the USB ports, uh, in general for the dust protection. But uh, it's uh, nicely flexible, so this will give you a nice headroom if you waste all the 40 hours of battery life in one go and <laughs> you want to continue playing. So you could easily just connect it, uh, well, basically to your PC because you can't connect uh, USB Type-A to your mobile phone and uh, that's, that's the thing. So this is used also for charging, which is okay and uh, I appreciate having Type-C. Because even in 2023 and 2024, we're still seeing 
some peripherals going with uh, USB mini or whatever its uh, name is, which it's totally irrelevant to even mention it. Now, when we take a look at the controller, unfortunately, what I see immediately from the start, and uh, I'm not seeing anything that might um, distract me visually, but what I, actually it is, but it's in color scheme. We have pinkish, purplish, I don't think this is, it doesn't have that, um, pearl effect but it's pinkish purplish let's say color right here on the back buttons and here on front it's normal cooler master purple color so this kind of goes into diversity of coloring scheme and this uh, i think it would look much better if uh, if we had this well basically any purple color that's just equally presented on the whole controller that would be outstanding right but this goes into varieties and yeah okay regardless of that uh, that's a bit of a negative what i would say because this is a simple thing to do to be honest when we're talking about coloring your product that's the simplest thing that you can do because there's no difference in plastic checking out the pads uh, they look quite all right and i've seen on past models and this one isn't i've seen plastic rims here beneath it and not being brushed properly so this one looks quite outstanding and i really like the uh, the cleanness of it because i think i had a couple of game pads that actually had the full plastic line coming from the shell from the manufacturing they didn't brush it they didn't do and dust it whatever uh this one is quite nicely designed so you have the accessory buttons you have the middle cooler master button that lights up in the cooler master logo in purple of course and you have a possibility for a multi-connection because you have Bluetooth 5.0, but you can connect it to your mobile device and you can connect it to your PC. So this is really cool because you have an option to switch between three. I think this is three because it has three lights over here. So you can switch between three devices on the go. And this is really cool because you have an option to connect it to your PC, laptop, for instance, Windows 7, 8, 10, 11, iOS 15 and Android 5.0 and above. Now... That's really cool because, for instance, you have your laptop connected to something else, you have your PC and you have your phone, right? You have three connections, you can use them up and switch throughout all of those platforms, let's put it this way, and uh, that's it. So wireless, as I said, is Bluetooth 5.0, but wired it can work with the USB Type-C given inside the box. Wireless range is 10 meters and we have battery capacity 1000 mAh. This gives you 40 hours of gameplay. This is great. I do have to say 40 hours on a wireless controller. That's outstanding. Then we have haptic feedback dual motors. The size is 160, 105, 61 millimeters. And the weight is kind of quite interesting. 220 grams for an integrated battery. If you add regular 2A batteries in a Xbox controller, it most likely will go above 290. And this one is pretty light. I mean, I'm quite shocked that they managed to do that, giving you long lasting battery for quite nice weight and yeah i do have to agree unfortunately this uh, controller is more for casual gaming and it's not if you're into competitive you don't have any back buttons right here you don't have any triggers you don't have anything to use and i have few controllers that actually have those which do come in handy as for you guys that you already have something like that you already know something like that as well so first of all let's go with the shape it's somewhat regular design it does a bit resemble to the xbox controller and uh, this shape right here at the bottom i wished it had either longer edges right here or this uh, narrow part right in the middle should be placed a bit up or upwards because when i do this when i place my hands on the controller I actually have like three fingers sticking out at the bottom and they don't have enough space to be covered. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not that drastical for you guys to worry about. But uh, something that I noticed that it might worry some of you guys eventually. So we have multifunctional possibilities, right? So I mentioned you can con connect it to your computer, you can connect it to your laptop and of course your phone. But you have a mouse button right here. So when you press it, you can actually use it as a mouse on your computer or your laptop giving you a possibility to i don't know do whatever you want with it and control what's happening on your controller so for instance you're casually gaming on a couch and you have your i don't know computer connected to your tv or whatever you want to switch through something you don't have to have a 
a keyboard or something unless you really need to type. You don't need to have a mouse dedicated next to your controller. You can just use this Cooler Master Storm controller to navigate through that. Now, the cool thing about this controller as well, when we're talking about the price segment, $40 for, for 40 hours better life. And we go into the manual. Now, the manual is for this controller specifically quite important to read through because it gives you some options and some ideas about it. But what I noticed reading the manual is that you don't need software. And here is the thing and I'll show you quite quickly. To turn it on short, press the home button, which is logical, and it will automatically pair to the less connected device. To turn it off, press it for three seconds. Now we have a USB Type-C port, we have a LED devices identifier, which are three of those. You have view back, you have an FN function plus a mouse cursor. We have start menu Bluetooth button that actually gives you a possibility to switch through those three devices. Uh, uh, LB, RB, LT, RT, of course, left joystick, right joystick, D-pad and game action buttons as per usual. Now, if you connect it with, uh, with the USB Type-C uh, cable directly to your PC, X input is the default connection with it. Home button battery indicator. There's also that when charging, red LED is breathing. When battery level is 95 to 100%, purple LED. Now, the LED device for that is right in the middle out of those three LEDs uh, in the middle of the controller. To switch between the X input and D input on the wired connection, press A plus home for three seconds to switch to D input and press A plus home for three seconds to switch to the X input. Now, for the wireless, uh, X input is uh, suggested PC, laptop and iOS devices. Press home button to turn on the controller, of course, and then press hold the Bluetooth button for three seconds to enter pairing mode. The LED will light up based on the which profile is it activated or so is it LED 1, LED 2, LED 3 or 1, 2, 3 device. And open Bluetooth settings on your PC, quite simple as per usual, or on iOS, and it will be detected as Xbox wireless controller. Actually, on the Android device, it actually shows the full name. Now, if you want to enter the multimedia function for Android devices, you press the mouse button two times to use the strong controller as an actual mouse. So the left joystick is a control mouse cursor, LB and RB is left and right click, LT, RT is volume up and volume down and up, start is play pause, and D-pad right and D-pad left is next and previous. To adjust the vibrations, press and hold the mouse button and use the D-pad up for the vibration up and down for the vibration down. Joystick sensitivity and dead zone settings. Now this is the part where I was saying that this controller actually doesn't need any software to back it up because everything you can do, you can do on the fly just reading the manual. And after doing it like maybe one, two, three times, you'll eventually get a grip and learn everything as you already did with the controller. So it's not a problem to actually modify it on the go and adjust it to your liking. So press and hold mouse and R3, uh, zero dead zone and right stick sensitivity is set to 50. But if you press and hold mouse and go with the R3 upwards, zero dead zone. And if you go downwards, you go to five degree dead zone, which is default. This is it basically. It actually covers literally everything that you could have done in a software. But basically what Cooler Master did here is removing bloatware from your PC. Uh, well, basically from mobile devices as well because you don't have to install literally anything on it it just goes and automatically connects to your uh, mobile device and this is actually really good in uh, some sort of way because first of all you don't have to have additional software installed on your mobile phone to be able to control and to adjust uh, the settings of your controller for a pc it's a bit different story because you connect it and you have a mouse to actually adjust the controller if there was a possibility for a software right but then again on the fly adjusting it it's quite easy and straightforward what i would say is that the d-pads are uh, okay they are a bit larger which uh, honestly i don't mind whatsoever and it's all about personal preferences i won't go into that uh the the edges are made out of uh, i think it's plastic i can't actually decide it sound it looks like a softer plastic because when i press it it kind of does a bit dent in but then again it has some sort of a uh, texture on it so it kind of creates a bit of a um, grippy stuff but then again it's quite nice when you're moving it all around it it does feel quite all right uh, as i said they are a bit bigger than usual nothing drastical i would say but still kind of handy and uh, 
quite uh, quite responsive. I do have to admit that. Now the D-pad is I don't know how to explain this. It's kind of it's not strange. It's it's I, I didn't expect this one. Okay, so when you press it, actually it doesn't. It doesn't create the only sound that it actually creates because it's a membrane, so it doesn't have any sound that much. But the only sound that it creates is when your thumb is going around, and it's kind of, it's kind of quite smooth actually. I do have to admit that you can adjust. This is quite nice because it it doesn't have that much travel, which is kind of cool. And then we go with the triggers at the back. I mean. I'm re it's really a shame that they aren't in the same color because it, it, for forty dollars it sounds like a great casual uh, gamepad without a doubt. So let's see. So it's kind of interesting. The LB and RB have. Um, they don't have the same click throughout the whole button. So here we go. When you press it here on top, it actually has that clicky sound and it kind of is pressing here on the side, right? So you actually get more faster response on it, which is kind of quite cool because I do have to say, listen to this. This is quite responsive. I do have to say, I mean, the button gets back into its original position quite fast and I'm really loving it but if you're pressing it on on the top edge you you do get a bit shorter travel but I'm not sure if it's uh, responding that fast it's ki it's kind of they gave this button two way possibility to be pressed shorter travel but then Shorter travel and longer travel. I don't know why, but okay, it, this is how it's designed. I can't go into that. And of course, the uh, LT and RT, nothing strange about those. They just look a bit shorter than usual, even though they're not. They just have this kind of weird shape at the end, and that's all there is to it. Now, let's check something else. As you can see in the gamepad tester, the dead zones on the joysticks is insane because... I do have to say 0.1 error and I think eventually it did go to 0.2 but uh, it's it's insane how the $40 controller actually has an outstanding accuracy and it goes back right to the middle without even having a need to adjust anything. This is really good. Let's see let's see this. I have to check this out because it doesn't look like it would fit instantly. It does. It really does. It looks great and I'm really loving this because as I said you could grab any other uh, clipper hanger or whatever but here we go. Let's check out with the phone. Yeah. Quite cool, quite handy. Shame the phone is heavier and everything is heavier than the whole controller because you're actually holding the lightest thing in your setup when we're talking about the mobile gaming uh, setup, right? So this is the lightest part and the phone is heavier than the whole configuration. Let's call it configuration. So it kind of doesn't give you that... Uh, I don't know what to say. If the controller was heavier, it will level up with the phone and it will give you a possibility to have... I don't know... No strains, no possibility to... Uh, be able to balance uh, the phone basically because with the light weight of the controller and with the weight of your phone you're actually balancing your phone constantly because regardless of what you're doing where you're playing or how you're playing the phone is heavier and it kind of goes into that segment but yeah I mean I can't say anything against that uh, for some of you guys it will be and it's easy to remove yeah I wasn't expecting this I was really expecting it to have problems placing the cradle on the storm controller but yeah uh let's wrap it up because i'm talking a bit too much for a gamepad and uh, honestly i know some of you guys won't even uh be able to uh, watch it that much or you'll be saying you're talking a bit too much for a regular gamepad we're having a 40 dollar gamepad with 40 hours of battery life which is outstanding we have a nice longer cable it's not braided it's just regular rubber Type A to Type C, you can use it with, with cable, without any problems. 
and you can use a wireless free Bluetooth 5.0, which gives you an option to connect three plat not platforms, but three devices simultaneously, so PC, laptop, and your mobile phone, and this gives you an option to switch between them. And with that, you can even go and control it, control the mouse on your laptop or your PC. This is great. Talking about the plastic and the design, I do have to say that I'm not a big fan of it because it doesn't feel like a premium stuff in terms of their other products. And then we have loads of plastic here. I mean, this is the reason basically why it's lightweight. Let's be honest. So there's no grip. There's a texture at the back, but it doesn't create that much grip. And honestly, if you're holding it with two hands, it's not like your hand is going to slip away. I know some of you guys really enjoy having a grip at the back. And I have it on my custom uh, gamepad at the back as well. It's not rubberized, it's just textured as well. A bit more standing out than this one, and you'll see that from close-ups. But regardless of that, then we go to the joysticks. The joysticks are actually quite fine and uh, fine. And I do have to say, because uh, the plastic on top is uh, somewhat texturized, so it kind of does, it does keep the finger stable on it. The middle part is just the same plastic but it's just i don't know it's brushed or whatever it's designed or how it's designed it's just a different texture than the texture on the matte finish here all the buttons are okay there's no clicky sound on the accessory buttons and we have the action game buttons have an actual click so yeah there's that and the silent d-pad quite all right Love the Cooler Muscle logo here in the middle. And just a shame that they didn't pair up the colors and that's it. All in all, what I would say, if you're not aiming for something particularly outstanding from a gamepad, and if you're aiming something for a casual gaming on your phone, or of just to have something to communicate with your PC, laptop, and your phone at the same time having phone as your gaming device, having multiple connections on a $40 gamepad it's quite all right i do have to say and uh, i think if you're a cooler muscle lover in general as a brand and everything else then you'll pair this three up and have something outstanding and quite nice for a nice price you don't have to spend too much money to have something solid not extremely good not extremely bad but something solid and if your ocd is going to go with it and uh, forgive cooler muscle for not matching the colors you have yourself a new controller. That's it. That's all I can say. Other than that, there's nothing left to add. Uh, that'll be all for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click the like button and notification. And uh, if you want to check it out, as well as the gem and the cradle, you can check the links in the description, which will redirect you to your local Amazon uh, store. And that'll be all for today, guys. Thanks for watching once again. And see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>